We're always going to have to leave one behind now to protect it, unless you push it back further enough. But we're going to have a move on um, Predator here. Obviously, think of what I'm thinking, like the game's nearly over. He's got his token of life though, going to come back down. Defiler's coming in to help, got ultimate and a wave, but um, probably not going to be enough here. There we go, down he goes. <laughs> Defiler tries to help. Not gonna be able to. Demanded Shaman comes in, but the whole team's in. Magnus is ready for the ultimate. Ultimate goes in. Defiler's taking a lot of damage, a lot of punches. Archer's ultimate goes in, takes Defiler out. Magnus goes invisible, doesn't protect him from the damage though. Forsaken Archer's gonna try and chase him, uses Nullfire, good play there. Hammer stick around on low health. Wow, hat trick, here we go then. They might push for this tower then. These long, um. These long, shall I, say, I was about to say, cooldowns of deaths, these long, um time limits for death respawn. Gonna put him out of action for a little bit, so they might even be able to take the Rex out, but they've got to be careful, they're on low health. Can't take too much damage. The follows on full. Has got a Frostfield plate, we saw that earlier. Able to reduce the movement and, and attack speed. Pretty nice item to have with this extra money coming in. Fair initiates then, double stuns. Got a puzzle box. Or well, someone has a puzzle box, yep it is him. Always does damage. Gotta be careful of the exploded on death. Staking Archer is going to get away just about, but I think Defiler's got a bit too much movement speed here. 418, going to catch him up. There we go, down he goes. It's my seal there, fate now. If the rest of the team can spawn quick enough, but um, push from all lanes here, all sides. Legends are now with creeps. But, um, puzzle box, great item to have overall, especially when you get it to level three, which it is. Well, Ferris has a huge amount of farm be able to get that. If I just have a quick look now, probably a bit late in the game to have a look, but um, yeah, gold per minute, pretty much on say Defiler and Pharaoh, 358, 343, um, yeah, massive, just what you want from your team to be able to buy the items, buy the nice items. i will try and have a look at that a bit earlier in the future. <laughs> Obviously, when it's one-sided, eventually, you're going to see a lot of gold coming out. Might have a move on Pestilence here be hanging around a bit too much by his own, even if it's in his own creep spawn. But, um, oh, there you go, Conger again, 10 minutes over. Good um, team, teamwork to keep an eye on it. Good team always knows when Congor. Invaluable to sway fights. Hasn't really been needed. Um, both times Predator has, has lost it um, out of position, so it hasn't been maximised to the full extent, but um, Still, they've taken it, does his job. We're going to see Token Life, who's going to get it? Predator again, yep. Got his warp cleft, rapid attack speed. I should just wait for this final push now from them. Pyromancer has a Void Talisman. Um, interesting item to have, obviously, it applies a immune to attacks for 4 seconds, so pretty good anti carry item for those that end up doing a lot of damage. But he used to, I'm not. Oh, it still does. It disarms you, so you can't deal out damage yourself, which is all right for support. But um, yeah, it's a bit of it's a bit of an item that a lot of people have argued about its use compared to uh, barb armor. Well, obviously, barb armor just allows you to repel, repel, not repel, um, inflict damage the same amount to your opponents. Here we go. Final push here by Legends. Ed. Go in on corrupted by himself. Massive damage is going to go on him here. We'll see if he goes down. Predator gets the kill. Once again, Archer in the background using the ultimate. Doing a lot of damage, but not enough. Defiler's hanging around. Hasn't got ultimate on cooldown yet. Hasn't used it. Corrupted. He might have bought back. I think, believe he did buy back. Gonna repel it. Chasing down Archer. Pharaoh's coming to help. And Pyromancer doing damage. Ultimate goes in by Pharaoh. Gets the kill on. Um. <laughs> Too much action going on here. We have corrupted once again going down to the combined three man with Shield Breaker from Predator and Pharaoh. Level 23 on both now. Bit too much coming out. We have Shaman's Headdress on him. Even more damage. Defile it all this while. Has been dealing damage on the hammer once again. Ultimate comes down with the cooldown. Pharaoh zooms in. Gets a kill. Should be able to escape from here. Tower damage going out. Defile just going to pump as much damage as he can onto the tower. Gets healed by her own waves. Pyro in desperation trying to save. They're not going to let him back into the pool and don't let him back at all. Once again, should be the final genocide. Here we go. And good game's going all out. So, um,
pleasing game to watch. Hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. Good promising play by uh, Legends, and once again, I wish the very best of luck to Five in the rest of the tournament. Leave um, any comments as usual, and hope you enjoy all the other casts.